who are gathered here today, and of course, we want to celebrate the volunteers for Impia and Sabah and Impia and Sarawak. Let's give them another round of applause. You know, I, I feel very uh, moved as well as inspired by the example shown by these young Malaysians. And I think by the dint of their example, their willingness to not just spend money, but spend time putting themselves at all sorts of inconvenience just to help some stranger. I think that is something incredibly wonderful. It gives us hope. It gives us hope for tomorrow. It gives us hope for a better future. It gives us hope that Malaysia indeed can do better. You know, it has always been said that help a stranger but it's all lip service. But then tonight we see young Malaysians helping strangers and then crossing the South China Sea some more to help strangers. And some of them, I was told, when they went there, they even were bitten by 80s mosquitoes and was I had to spend about Z right? and had to give him another round of applause. <laughs> Not only is he an Uba warrior, he is a dengue survivor. <laughs> malaria also. <laughs> Not dengue, malaria. Okay, sorry, I got the wrong disease. Huh? So, not, is he, not only is he a Uba warrior, he is a malaria survivor. And despite spending three days in the hospital, upon recovery, immediately he went back for more. <laughs> Willing to risk another bout of malaria. I think all because he wanted to make a small difference. And I think sometimes... When you see these uh, video clips, uh, when you see them speaking for their hearts, it can almost bring tears to your eyes. Because we see the idealism of these young people, Malay, Chinese, Indians, Karazans, all wanting to make life a little better for our brothers and sisters in the kampongs and villages of Sabah and Sarawak. I salute my, our Uba warriors. I salute our Uba warriors as an example for all Malaysians that one person can indeed make a difference. And when you talk about making a difference, That has the greatest meaning when you can allow one individual to live with dignity. And even though it may be just water, even though it may be just electricity, I think our Uba warriors have allowed our brothers and sisters whom they have touched in Sabah and Sarawak to live with dignity. So after saying all that, you all must give more money. Lah, huh? <laughs> and you can see that they, they want to go back for more. They want to do more. Which only shows how much more that needs to be done. You know, we, we look at water, you like electricity. Of course, it has a very great impact on their lives. But that's only one small factor in the many problems that 
our brothers and sisters in Sabah and Sarawak faces. They have a host of other problems. And I will be the first to admit that we cannot solve all of them. At least, we provide them with water. At least, we try to provide them with electricity, which the government there had failed to do so for the last 50 years. But if we, when we are not in power, if we can go all the way across the South China Sea to give them water and electricity, which their government had failed to do, just imagine what we can do for them if we are the government. Our Uba warriors, the young Malaysians from Peninsular Malaysia are the pioneers. And it is up to us to follow in their trailblazing path to make sure that their efforts are not wasted, that we can bring that change, little change, even though just water and electricity to the lives of ordinary kampung folk. If you can take the path that they have blazed forward, I'm sure if or when we win power in Sabah, Sarawak or Putrajaya, we will make Sabah and Sarawak shake like they have never shaken before. So today, it is just not a celebration of the idealism of our young Malaysians. Today, it is also a celebration of hope that indeed we can bring change even though we are not in power. But if we can secure and win power, I think this will have an enormous and earth-shaking impact. So I want to thank again our Uba warriors for the change they are bringing to our Malaysian brothers and sisters in the hinterlands of Sabah and Sarawak. I salute all of you.